Hey, what's going on guys? This is Knasty3 and I'm here. Welcome back to another MLB 17 The Show Diamond Dynasty video. Today we're doing a pretty large pack opening. I also do want to talk about kind of what happened in yesterday's Diamond 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 Dynasty excuse me, stream in regards to MLB 18. But what I decided to do is looking at the store here real quick and that for 50,000 stubs you can get 100 mixed standard packs plus one previously released promo pack with a high chance of gold or diamond players. So we literally will have just enough stubs for this so we're getting a hundred packs here now we're gonna do this and I do want to kind of just talk about what um you get a future stars promo and then all these but uh if you guys didn't see they are changing some things for diamond dynasty in 18 one of the big things is that diamond cards start at level 84 now or 85 excuse me gold go from 80 to 84 diamonds go from 85 to 99 which I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of. I, I like the idea of diamonds being really, 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 really hard to get. Like, and that they're the cream of the cop, the best of the best. And with the fact that there are 85s that are gonna be diamonds, I personally don't like that. So, it, it, it's something that we definitely, I mean, it may get used to. I don't know, let's do this future start pack real quick, but I don't know. I, I just am not a huge fan of it. We get Orlando Arcia from the Brewers. Now, some other things that they did uh, mention is that uh, there's going to be a rating curve. So there's a bigger gap, for instance, between 90 to 99 than there is from 80 to 89. That's what they're trying to say. So, like, the higher you go, it's going to get harder and harder to get a, a, a higher overall the higher you go. They, the reason is they want less 99s. So if you see, like, a card that you think should be a 99 in last year's game may only be like a 90 in this year's game they also mentioned about the 125 player uh or attribute limit which is some as we get a rookie fred mcgriff it's it's something that i like i don't want it on live series cards it is going to be on live series i don't i'm not a huge fan of that but it's definitely something that i think is better off they said they're not they didn't just change the scale where 99s are now 125. It said 99s are still 99s, but 125 or 100 or the 125 is just an extra something on top of it. Will it be real? Because <laughs> that's always a thing with like EA used to do with Madden. It was like the 100 plus rings were they real? People thought they were. There was no difference between a 101 and a 99 attribute. I don't know. That will be a good thing to test once 18 drops, and that's something I'll try to do for you guys is to test that theory out. But it is definitely. As we get a gold card here, we get a Brandon Crawford. It's definitely something I will be looking into. I know other YouTubers will. It's like, is that something real? But those are a couple of big things. I didn't get, wasn't able to watch the whole stream, but those are some of the big things that they mentioned. Um, they also mentioned uh, online franchise is going to be gone. I don't think that was on the stream. I think that's something they found out after. Uh, <clears throat> if you guys played online franchise, that, that's a bummer. But for me, and I mentioned this on Twitter, I feel like a lot of people ended up agreeing is that Online franchise in theory is fun. Unfortunately, when people start struggling in it, they stop playing it. And then once they stop, one couple people stop playing it, everyone stops playing it, and then it just becomes kind of a, like a, oh, a cool what if. So the fact that it's gone, yeah, it's not great, but if we get two cargoes in the same pack, they said they are getting rid of it to make servers better for Diamond Dynasty. If you have to get rid of online franchise to make Diamond Dynasty better, I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm a big franchise guy. I'm not a huge online franchise for that simple reason that I just mentioned before. That it just, I, I don't know. I like just the offline aspect. I can play when I want to play. I have to rely on other people and I can do it when I want to do it. So that's just me. I would love to hear in your, uh, your guys' opinions down in the comments down below. Your thoughts on the offline franchise or online franchise and if that affects how you will play the game. Are you happy? Are you uh, upset about that? Also, the uh, new ratings going up to 125. Love to hear what you guys think. Like I said, I like the idea of it. I don't want it on live series cards. They said it's going to be rare because of, for live series cards to get that because you need to, they take a three year average on a guy. So you can't just be like having one really amazing year and you're going to get those stats. But like if a guy is, and I made this example on Twitter, like Chris Carter is not a good hitter. He's not. He's a great power hitter. Is he going to have like 115 power? Like, I don't know. He always has great power. So like, I don't know. I'm. I don't want him to have like the same power as like I know I know Babe Ruth's gonna have 125 power. But I'm not sure if like Chris Carr's gonna be close to it. I I would rather just have them keep the hundred plus attributes on legend cards. 
They also didn't mention the Immortals that are going to be in next year's game. Like Babe Ruth, um, Bob Gibson. Those cards, I think Guerrero Vladdy is one of those. Is uh, Those cards you cannot pull. You can only get them from playing the game, which I love. That sh should be how like any Ultimate Team Diamond Dynasty game mode should be. It should just be based off of you grinding the game. Not being able to just open up your wallet and boom, you got it. You got to play the game. And... And you know what, I'll give EA, uh, not EA, I give uh, San Diego Studios a lot of credit because they know if they put those cards in packs, they'd make more money. But they also know there's backlash to that. So the fact that they're basically saying, yeah, you know what, we may lose a little bit of money, but we're going to gain PR, we're going to gain customer satisfaction from it. I, I respect that a lot, so shout out to San Diego Studios for doing that, and I like that. It's If you grind the game, if you play the game, you will be rewarded. You don't have to open up your wallet. You don't have to get a, to put a second mortgage on your home. You don't have to drop out of college. We get an 87 Dylan Patances, former Diamond. I, I just really like that. So shout out to San Diego Seuss for that. That is definitely be something. I know some people like Carnal Bird didn't like that because he thinks eventually everyone within like six months will all have the same great players, which I'm fine. I mean, me personally, I'm fine with it. If you grind your ass off, you should be able to use Babe Ruth. And if everyone ends up having Babe Ruth because they grind their asses off, shout out to them. Baseball is a non-player game. Nine people are in the lineup, so if, if everyone has one or two of the same players, you still got six, seven other hitters to deal with. So, I I, I like Carnal Rose's opinion a lot on this one. I disagree with him, but hey, that's fine. But uh, I would love to hear what you guys think about the Immortals being you can't buy buy them. You have to just grind for them. But those are some big things they mentioned in the 18 stream. Uh, there will be more information. I don't think they released any legends. I missed the end of it, but I don't see anyone tweet out any legends. I know they'll be doing some more when there's more fran uh, more streams of like Road the Show or Franchise. I'll give you guys more updates, especially on the Franchise one. Hopefully, there's going to be some big, nice upgrades to that. Maybe they can focus on it more with the off, uh, with it only being offline, not it with being online. I don't know. But like in regards to Diamond Dynasty, looking at it, like the interfaces just look really clean. They look smooth. Now, obviously, there's only like five people on the servers for 18 or how many people they were using on it. So obviously, the server should be good. But it just seemed really smooth going through everything. So hopefully with them getting rid of off online franchise, it will make... Oh, we got an 89. Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. But yeah, those are just some things I have to say for 18. And with that coming out in about three weeks. See on Twitter, some of you guys were asking me if what or how I will be playing Diamond Dynasty next year in 18. And it's going to be a lot how I played it earlier this year in 17. It will be the team no money spent. Kind of, I mean, with this account, it was no money spent, but it was at the very end of the year. But it will be a no money spent grind. Uh, I want to show you guys that you can do it. I will still be doing the roster predictions and the roster updates. So you guys, I know you guys enjoy the roster predictions. I'll, I'll try to add something to it. I know I'll do the interactive part with you guys. I will try to add something else to that. If you guys have an idea how I can maybe change roster predictions anyway, let me know in the comments. And if that way, uh, idea seems to stick, I'll give it a try. But those are some things to look forward for, at least towards me in Diamond Dynasty in 18. I know I've mentioned this, I will be doing franchise rebuilds. Maybe road the show, maybe at the beginning of the year, if I enjoy it, we'll continue on. Um, obviously, there's no online franchise. Some people are asking me to do one with you guys. Obviously, that's not gonna happen as we get a Brett Cecil. But those are some things for, for you guys to look forward to in regards to what I will be doing in 18. But yet in Diamond Dynasty, Team No Money Spent, that will be back 100%. Oh, oh, we just got a diamond. We just got a 99, Jose Altuve. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, we'll check at the end how much he goes for. I was not expecting to get a single diamond out of this. Holy cow, we just got a 99 Altuve. Well, I pulled a 99 live series this year. I think there's only three. As we get a Jack McDonald, I think it's what, him, Kershaw, and Trout? Am I missing another 99? I don't think I am. I mean, for live series, I know there's a ton of flashbacks, but holy cow, guys. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, guys, is uh, they uh, they talked about Team Epics that will be in 18, and those won't require you guys to complete the uh, collections for teams. So that's actually a very nice thing, because if you're a fan of, like, like I'm a Red Sox fan, if I ever want to do like the Red Sox collection, I mean, you gotta collect guys like Mookie Betts, uh, you gotta collect Chris Sale, Craig Kimbrell, David Price. Like, there's a really some really good players there, and like, no money spent. It's hard to do that, but and you couldn't do the team epics. But now that's gonna di be different. Now I'm assuming they'll still have collections for players, but those won't are for teams, but those won't be re required for the team epics. So that's another thing they mentioned 
in yesterday's live stream. All right, guys, final two packs of the 100 packs. See if we can get another diamond or anything. We get a uh, Michael Saunders breakout. And then we'll see how much that L2 goes for. I have no idea. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, we're talking about 18. Guys, got to see some packs. I'm excited for it. I don't want to hear what you guys' opinions are. Not. Are you really excited for 18 or not? And if you're new to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. But let's go see how much Altuve is going for. So, yeah, that was a good pull, boys. <laughs> that was a very good pull. I was right. There was only three live series 99s, and he's 180 plus thousand stubs still. So I'll do more pack openings like this. Like this will help us out. I don't know. Maybe we can go get another great player. In regards to this team, we have. We have Jackie Robinson at second. Now, I know I could do like some collections, but as you can see, our stubs are at 11. <laughs> so, I'll take the stubs. Hopefully, he sells. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will talk to you all later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.